the liberal community began with a vision. It started with a man with an ounce of kindness, a drop of water, and a vision. And with that, he evolved a community. From that came a town. It's now liberal Kansas. As the college nears its 50 year anniversary, we're very excited about two significant and symbolic projects that truly represent not only the legacy of Seward County Community College, but our future. Our Colvin Family Allied Health Center and our Sharp Family Champion Center. 2012-2013, a group of strong supporters of Seward County got together at uh, one of the local uh, eateries and sketched out the ideas for a practice facility uh, on a napkin. I had a vision of a indoor hitting facility. And at first it was very simple. Drawn from a napkin over a lunch, uh, it was simply a small building with a couple of batting cages. But there was a visionary in town, came a friend of mine, his name was Gary Dunn. Galen McSpadden and I met with uh, Gene Sharp and we were going out and asking each one of our members uh, that we had on our list for $100,000. Galen and I had $100,000 from six people uh, guaranteed to, to this project, but our economy went south and we slowed down and we said, hey, we're gonna have to wait on this. Unfortunately, there was the oil bust and, and the economic situation just deteriorated shortly after that and those plans were put on hold. We went back to those people and we said, now forget about our request. You need to go take care of your families, take care of those who work for you, take care of your companies, take care of your investments. When the economy got better, we had talked at the foundation meeting about starting up again on the athletic inside door hitting facility. And when the Sharp showed their interest and offered to do what, what they've done at this point, we said, let's go. A few years later, the economy resurrected. And out of that resurrection came another two visionaries. They didn't care about just baseball. They wanted to include softball facilities. They wanted an area for tennis, for basketball, for indoor soccer, if we ever get soccer, to practice during inclement weather. And their vision expanded the community because all of a sudden then they said, can we do clinics? Can we do youth clinics? Gene, Joanne, Rex, and their family has been very supportive of this and, and we thank them so much for having the vision, as Coach McSpadden would say, to have that sharp edge. I had received a telephone call from Galen McSpadden uh, telling me that uh, he'd like to have me come out to his office. He had something he wanted to show me. And he had a uh, just a floor plan of a building for an indoor baseball practice. And the reason for that was at that period of time we were having a lot of snow and uh, I had seen him out there with his team cleaning off the baseball field so they could practice. And he also showed me a list of names. There were nine people on it, all of whom had pledged to uh, fund or partially fund that project with $100,000. I told him you could he could put me on there for the number 10 and that would make a million. Just a couple years ago, in part of a larger reevaluation of the college needs, it was brought back to the forefront and we began a capital campaign uh, specifically designed and with the uh, large lead ownership of the uh, Sharp family to complete what has been uh, term now the uh, Champions Center facility, which will be a multi-use baseball, softball, uh, other sport uh, with a multi-purpose uh, surface practice facility, including locker rooms, public restrooms, and those amenities. 
So as we move forward in fulfilling the fundraising goal, we have around $2 million yet to raise. The Champion Center project is an indoor facility that will house and provide opportunities for all of our athletic teams, and it's just about 40,000 square feet. We're very proud of the work that's been done over the last five years. We have a very, very strong team, a dedicated team, working to not only raise money, raise resources, but raise awareness about the good work we're doing at the institution. Both of these projects represent areas on our campus that truly support and signify and symbolize the future of the institution. In 10 years here at Seward County Community College, I've had the opportunity uh, to work with over 600 student athletes um, from seven different sports and from all around the world. And while we currently offer um, amazing facilities and opportunities for these young people, um, a facility like this for our student athletes would be transformational. We'll give them an opportunity uh, to have a place to call their own. Currently we have seven sports sharing one facility um, and so many times we have uh, multiple teams working in the same place at the same time. So a basketball team trying to uh, watch film for their upcoming game while they have baseballs being dropped on top of their head from a batting cage that's above their locker room. So a facility like this uh, would certainly be transformational in the fact that it would be something that nobody else has. Nothing, nobody else has anything like this around in the surrounding areas for about 200 square miles. It would give our student athletes a, a big uptake um, compared to some of our competitors and being able to work in a place like this that's uh, something that uh, we've needed for a long time, been working on for a long time, and uh, now just trying to look to get done. So it's not just for the college, it's for the community as a whole. I think it would help city athletics, I think it would help the BJs, and I know it would help our college. Parents like to see that their students are going to have opportunities, and even though you have good academic facilities. You have to have athletic facilities to attract those kind of students. Ultimately, as we grow as an institution and flourish as a community, it's important for us to have facilities that represent the future. We look forward to better retention, better recruitment, better access, and certainly better opportunities to connect with our community of liberal. This kind of opportunity provides our students with a competitive edge. Our sports do very well with the limited fields and courts that we do have. If we could increase that and invest in our youth more, then we are definitely pulled our files out and we are sharpening our vision's edge and we'll be able to help bring to reality a very much needed facility such as this. Just this Sunday, we had a soccer tournament inside of our gymnasium, the first time that we've ever done that, and uh, just even shows you more the need for an indoor facility that's able to handle multiple sports. Um, you know, we're doing that inside on a hardwood basketball court right now. What an awesome thing it would be to be able to invite our community and, and a sport that our community loves in soccer to be able to do that inside a turf facility like we're working on the Champion Center right now uh, to bring hundreds and hundreds of youth from our community into our campus and into our facilities to show them uh, the great things that Seward County Community College has to offer. We are, if we're able to do that, now all of a sudden we have kids that grow up thinking about how cool Seward County Community College is and then when it's time for them to choose uh, the college of their choice upon their high school graduation, Seward County is going to be right there on top of their list. I feel the college is such a large part of what makes Liberal uh, a more vibrant community. Having it local is essentially mandatory for so many of our students to be able to uh, go to school at all while they're working to support families or other circumstances that are not traditional college track career paths. Students first, but the community always. What better slogan can you have made than that one? This is a good day to invest in this college. Don't use our economy. It has been bad. Hopefully it's headed good, but um, it's a good time to invest in Seward County Community College. Another great advantage of, of making an investment in Southwest Kansas, there's not another facility within a 200 mile radius. Not even comes close to this. And you have how many communities, how many schools, how many towns in a 200 mile radius. 
that you could put on clinics, that you could, you could uh, have uh, uh, lessons. Uh, this building actually uh, has a mezzanine so that parents could come up and watch their ki little kids work out. Now you're talking about other teams coming in to play here. You're talking about our motels filling up. You're talking about our restaurants getting a lot more business. Families would be more attracted maybe to move into this area. People who support this project are supporting more than just the student athletes at Seward County Community College. They're supporting our youth and they're supporting the future of our community. We have a lot of student athletes that come here, go to school for two years, move on, get their degrees and come back to Liberal because it's such a great place. And this project, this Champion Center, uh, would create even more of that, giving kids an opportunity to bring their kids to facilities like this and use them uh, to get better and, and create a better future for our youth. Uh, in 1969, almost 50 years ago, the economy was bad. There was turbulence in our uh, national and local politics. The same as what we're looking at today. But look where we are 50 years later. We started with 300 and some students we're now at 2,600. The, um, the business people and the people of this community stepped forward when they were asked to. We now have a college that is representative in over 70 counties, ranked in the top five in this nation. Not in Kansas, but in this nation. And to me, that was that's a tremendous story that I could easily tell to anyone that wanted to make an investment uh, in, in the students and into this community. This economy is going to be impacted as it has been, but it will continue to be um, impacted with what we're trying to do here today. This facility will provide the ability to have practice in inclement weather when it's windy in the spring or cold and all of the things that we know Southwest Kansas is uh, famous for. The facilities on campus are just straining at the seams for uh, all of the teams that need practice areas. So this is a great facility going forward to get us into a competitive position with the rest of the conference and the state and bring in outside teams. Liberal has been a base for very good baseball here in the past few years and it continues to rise with the quality of players and coaches and training that these kids are putting in. But the weather that we have here obviously limits what they're able to do um, outside when it's very cold outside. So a facility like this would give our youth uh, moving up from the time that they were six, seven years old, a place to get inside, to hit in the batting cage, to pitch on a pitching mound and all the way up until they're in the high school ages and then moving on to college, they would have an unbelievable facility that they would be able to utilize just like our student athletes were able to, to really get them ready and put them ahead of maybe youth in other places that don't have a facility like this in Southwest Kansas. Uh, so we would like to uh, give back to this area something that, that will benefit the community and we think this facility would and it would be benefit the uh, the college as well. Just going into one of the convenience stores, you see the students of this college going in and, and filling their hands with goods that they want to purchase at a community college. You see them walk out by carloads. Uh, these students do bring uh, good funding even to these, these small businesses. But also, uh, there's more impact than that. There's the restaurants. Uh, when parents come into town, there's the motels when the parents come into town. Um, I, I was uh, in Sublette for 37 years and I remember even coming here, going to ball games because there was a, there was a student here that I wanted to cheer on and, and give them the hope that they have by the education uh, that Surrey County does offer. So from a personal perspective, I would invite anyone who's interested in supporting not only the institution, but these two very important projects to please contact my office, to contact Chandler Kirkhart or anyone in our development office if you'd like to better understand ways in which you can provide support for these projects. We would certainly appreciate your support and naturally if you have any questions or concerns or ideas to help us move forward, we would certainly welcome those. So again, thank you so much and we appreciate the support that we have and we look forward to your continued support moving forward. 
So our goal for the Sharp Champion Center is to simply ask a question. Do you have a vision? And how sharp is your edge? And we ask not that you look at this as a building, but we ask that you look at it as a future investment into our youth.